points, especially with a male on either side. Nice wall off uh, from both sides, and lamps used early on by both sides early as well. Uh, with both players down, we should see these guys sort of mash together. Kira takes out Yitakus, uh, that diva putting up a lot of pressure post bubbles from uh, honorific and Poggers just clean up the rest of the uh, the guys there. Mr. Packer goes down. So you have to think that Ontario coming into this fight with a little bit more of a advantage. The beat does come out from Harry GYT. Unfortunately, uh, the pin does not able to pick up to honorific as it does come back into the fight. Alts used all over the place now from both sides. Heinz Beans kind of looking for that. Uh, last minute pick onto Dominus. Gonna need your Ryan and Zarya to push very, very aggressively from one side, and as we can see, the Pharah is already behind. As long as she can stay away from the Kree, in comes the Barrage, it's huge. Yeah, they should have probably expected that to see that one coming, but unfortunately, neither Chicken Nuggets or Mr. Makapaka were able to get out of the way of that one early on on King's Row. A uh, nice ice wall out from uh, Mr. Makapaka. Nice response there from Ace, but nice being shot to them. I think that was a five man out from, uh, who was it, uh, Zetikus. Great stuff from him. And now we're able to kind of recontest. Looks like GCS hours are going to take this one too. Yeah, really, really well played there. So both teams are going to stick with the sim. They're going to bot heads immediately on this high ground and double wood is going to get an immediate double kill. Opening this one right up and that is just dominant coming in from Farnborough, even giving an inch of space to this confetti squad. They're going to push them all the way back to the spawn if they have to. The sim is getting very, very charged up and that Ryan shield is getting very, very low. Galahorn is going to get the fire strike kill nice and early, but this shatter comes through and Galahorn rest of this match. This higher ground positioning looks really great for them too. They're really understanding their maps and uh, taking advantage of those uh, high ground positions. And so it's going to find two and the D. They might be sort of messing about a little bit more, to be honest. Is that with that run around that you were talking about earlier? Yeah. Nice shatter. And it's another huge shatter on the opposite side there. Galahorn's going to charge everyone through. Kronos gets the triple bomb. And that's going to be the side of Farnborough. Brian, uh, what this one in? They're going to immediately drop down on the point and they're going to force Confetti to come to them. And maybe we'll slide out positions. Then we're just going to get that opening pick onto Finn. So it's going to be an absolutely huge one because they don't have the shield to stand behind now. Kronos are going to get the second pick and is starting to tick the way of Farnborough once again. Kronos finding two, Devilwood finding three guns of Venom. See what's going on. The Riptide is still going to stay up, but no, it's going to get taken out. It's going to be the assassin Lucio in the back line taking one out. The nearly gets the Anna as well. And congratulations to the side of of Barbara. It's a it's a dominant.